we met through family. Um, his cousin is actually a friend of mine. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> um, Pretty much we started out, you know, really as close, close friends after we met with, you know, his family. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, it's not one of those, you know, first love at, you know, first sight type of thing. So it's just, we just became friends with, you know, knowing his family. Met from a mutual friend. Uh, we got really close as a friends, as friends. And uh, we, we had a brother and sister relationship at first. And then I guess it just turned into something else. I don't, I don't even remember if he ever asked me out. I think it's just kind of, it's kind of just went there. I don't, I'm not sure it was like, will you be my girlfriend or boyfriend thing. It was more so we just always hung out as friends. And then, um, I don't know, it just happened. <laughs> I wouldn't say I really asked her out. We just talked on the phone a lot, every night, and um, I guess it just turned into something. It was near Valentine's Day, so we always wanted to do like this um, love lock thing like in London. I think it's London, I'm not sure. I had this idea for Valentine's Day uh, from the lockets that they do on the bridges, the love locks. So we went to a park and we decided to do the locks fence at a park. We decided to do something similar to that and like the whole family and friends we kind of got together and um, you know decorated the the hearts and stuff like that so we decided to go down to the park and lock our hearts together and um, with one of the hearts I didn't realize in the back of it it said will you marry me so everyone is kind of like knew what was going, was going on so finally one of my friends said you need to turn your heart around and then I turned the heart around and that's when it says will you marry me so when I turned around he was already on his knees so that was very shocking to me and um, it was actually a surprise because he's very he's terrible in surprises <laughs> so this one surprised me and I made this one special lock that says will you marry me and I gave it to her to put it on the fence and when she put it on, she, posed, she turned around and that's how she proposed. Um, one, um, like I said, he does not, he doesn't really care about what people think. Um, he's very funny, even though he always tells me I don't laugh at his jokes anymore. I guess because we've been together for so long. But um, he's very goofy and he just loves life and nothing bothers him. And that's one thing that I hate about him. I love and hate, but just pretty much jealous that he doesn't, he just doesn't care what people think or how he's like, he's funny and um, just loves life. Nothing bothers him. Independence, um, her cooking, <laughs> and uh, no, she's just, she's just cool to be around all the time. And another thing is, I guess, he knows everything about me, my past, and, you know, he loves the kids. He's great with the kids. So, it's overall, it just, it's everything, really. If you can say three, it's kind of hard. It's, I love everything about him. He thinks he's the chef when he really Oh, doesn't. yeah, that too. So, she's a good cook. So, every time she cooks, everybody's like, oh, my God, I love your food, whatever. whatever. So I'm like, it's really me because I'm the one that's tasting the food. Yeah, so he thinks he's the chef because he's the one that tells me if it's good or not. If, if I need to put something, add something or not. So he, he thinks that he's the one that, the chef. So when everybody comes over and compliment my cooking, he says, yeah. I don't know. I mean, well, definitely, um, I see us in a house that we dream of. I know we both talk about retiring and getting fast cars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, five years maybe. Yeah. Well, we're very excited that um, 
we're fixing to have this wedding. We can't wait to see everybody. Hope y'all enjoy.